Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and welcome to some more Cricket 19. This is the start of my Ashes series with England against the one and only Australia, of course. It's going to be a fantastic uh, series over the summer. Obviously starting this Thursday in real life. England on home soil on the back of uh, that wonderful World Cup victory a couple of weeks ago so today we're going to be getting underway in the first test i'm certainly looking forward to to getting into it um of course australia are going to be a really really tough side i've actually put the the, the actual squad that they announced on thursday uh, sorry on saturday into the uh into the game and uh, we will be uh you know starting out uh with this uh, squad, so Jason Roy is going to open for us with uh, Rory Burns. We've got Joe Denley at three, rooted four, based or five, uh, Stokes, Butler, uh, Ali, uh, Archer, Broad and Anderson. Wokes, Curran and Stone miss out, unfortunately, for this first match. Uh, this is the Australia squad. I don't think all of them uh, are actually in the, um, in the actual squad. I'm not entirely sure. We'll change that as and when uh, throughout the series. I don't know which sort of team they're going to go for. Um, but, we'll, we'll, you know, I think that they're a good enough uh, side anyway. Um, but here we go. We're, we're getting ready to rock and roll in this match. So let's uh, play it. And uh, I, I think the plan is going to be uh, mainly to show the batting innings. Uh, we will do a bit of bowling here and there. But, you know, I, I, I don't want to be doing... No simulation at all in this Ashes series, otherwise it would just get ridiculous, I think. Um, but we'll, we'll try and do it as often as we can over the next um, few weeks as the Ashes is on, uh, until the middle of September, of course. And hopefully we'll get uh, quite far into our virtual Ashes as well. Uh, but, you know, you guys really enjoyed the World Cup series that I had. And, uh, honestly, it was nearly as dramatic, <laughs> the, the, the final that we had. Um, you know, we very nearly tied it. Uh, and we won by one wicket in the end. It would have been crazy if we'd tied the game and uh, had to do the super over like in real life. Because uh, I had recorded it just before um, the... Um, that the, the final actually took place, so I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> but um, no, let's get into the 2019 Ashes series. Morning everyone and welcome to this Ashes match. I'm Michael Slater and by my side it's James Taylor. Hi Slats, this is looking like it's going to be a close contest. The clouds are closed in but the radar says we're likely to miss any rain. We'll have to wait and see. Hard to say which is the best option here. My gut instinct would be to bat first. Have to agree with you there James. Should be a good one. I've just realised I've accidentally put uh, <laughs> Rory Burns in as wicketkeeper. Never mind. The, now. the captains are there for the toss. So we win the toss, and I think we are going to bat first and listen to the crowd. We're batting first on this circuit. Taking on the Aussies at Edge Baston. Always an interesting first morning. Aus Australia always get off to the better start in Asher series, I find. But uh, Jason Roy is going to face this first ball.
So here we go. Mitchell Stark going to bowl the first ball of the Ashes. That hits us. We are going to get off the mark with that. It's a leg by. But, uh, yeah, I thought it would have come away, but it came into the body. Well, somehow we didn't get the run for that. So we're going to build our innings a lot more than we would in uh, the one days. Yep. There's the first run of the Ashes then. England. Start the innings with a single. Here comes Rory Burns then. Movement away. Uh, but I think if we can get set, we can go and uh, build a decent score. Needs to be on target. End of the Just over. the one there. Two runs added to the total. The right arm medium bowler is coming on to bowl from the south end. So Josh Hazelwood. Is balling from the other end here. Waiting. No. Need to be slightly careful here early on. Certainly while the ball's nipping about a bit. Yep. Off the pads, get a run. Good stop, good stop. I think with Jason Roy, you know, we we can't get him bogged down, and you know, I think any shot that's uh, any ball that's loose, we have to drive away. But, uh, you know, play the ball late. I'm excited, very excited for this series. Came up a little bit off the surface there. Could have been an edge. Just managed to, to block it. Yep. There's one off the pads that might go for four. It's been stopped, but we'll get two. And the end of a tidy over. Big gaps because they've got uh, obviously a big slip cordon at this point. Trying the auger. Eh? We're wise to it though. Proper test cricket. You know, we want to build our score, we don't want to. Attack too early and be 21 for 5, like in 2005. <laughs> yep. Well, then again, That's we will get shots like that as well. That Four runs. First boundary of this Ashes series. Anything on the pads, we're gonna get runs. The 
That's been in a way, lucky not to connect there. He misread that and could easily have found the edge. Yep. Well, that's off the pads. It's going towards the boundary. Quick outfield this. Just the two. End of the Twelve over. without loss. A good one for the batting side. Times that well, one. Misjudged that a lot. Just about okay. Stop. What a stop. Let's have another look at that on the replay. Roy absolutely creamed this. Look at that. Was it in the air slightly? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think it, it bounced. I think it was. They're, they're claiming it was a misfield, but. That's not the best shot. We'll run away to the boundary though. Very cool. quick outfield. Barely hit that. Just ran away. Stop. Over. 18 for none. Yep. Nice shot. Might not reach the boundary quite. Great oh, well. To the boundary Once four. again. Not perfectly hit, but well enough. Beautiful outfield. Jason Roy's first boundary off this innings, and we're going along quite nicely here. At the start of this innings. Yep. Oh, and that's Super hooked for four beautifully. It was more of a pull, really, than a hook. Nice nonetheless, two boundaries in a row. And another one. Nice shot. You just can't bowl there to Jason Roy. He's going to drive that every day of the week. 12 off the over already. Amount of movement there and made it look silly by leaving that. I thought, well, you know, probably pushed our luck this over. But Jason Roy gone for 18 on the first day of the Ashes, 30 for one. Can't believe how much that swung back. A wicket falls, but that didn't seem to do much to slow down the run rate in that over. Yep. 
again. That's going to run down the hill for four. No Barely down. even hit four that. Runs. It's crazy. That came back quite a bit as well. Quite a bit of movement here. I think Jimmy Anderson particularly would be loving this pitch. That's a terrible throw. Managed to get the run there. 35 for one. Good timing. Make sure that uh, you know, we keep on top of it. Absolutely packed crowd here. First day of the ashes. Plenty of time in this test match, of course, over the five days. Not sure what the weather forecast is like, whether we're going to get any rain or anything, but you know, we don't want to be rushing ourselves. Yeah, just the one. 36 for one. Push hard for two here. Good Two running. runs off that delivery. Waking. Yep. This could be out. Well, Joe Denley, he's waited a while for his second delivery, but here it comes. It's a nice shot, but uh, just the two. Good precision with the throw back from the deep. Forty two for one. Added in that over. The bowler is really close to claiming their 100th test wicket. Well, 
comes Pat Cummins. And his first ball of the Ashes. And just easy enough to leave it. Another precarious one, a bit like the Jason Roy dismissal. But felt confident enough that would miss the stumps. That one I wasn't so sure about. Shot. I'm going to get a couple from that. He'll get two for that. Great shot. Yes, yes. Yeah, nice, nice shot. shot. That's going to be four for Joe Denley. A little bit wide, so sort of being ball in the same kind of delivery all over. It was a little bit in the air but got enough on it. Yes. Could be close. End of the over. A good one for the batting side. 49 for one. So we'll do probably another six overs or so in this episode. Just get us off to a nice start. That was a interesting one. A bit of a slower ball bouncer there. Yeah. Just able to work it into the leg side. No, just the one. 50 up. Within 10 overs, going at a good rate here. Yep. No! Yes. Oh, that's that's going to be four. Shot. Beautiful. Joe Denley, and he's starting to look quite decent. Yes, yes. And again. Four runs there, super shot. This will probably be the last over of Hazel Woody's going around six and over. Plays that nicely along the ground. Bit expensive there. Sixty for one. Shot, gonna get a couple for that. Nicely ran there, they'll get two. Safely plays that along the ground. Yep. 
Well, 64 for one from the first the 11 overs going over. very, very nicely here. Well, still Hazelwood. Surprised. Thought we might turn to spin. Oh. Well, it was inside Red edge. Ball. Couldn't get the drive away. Just a single. Wait, yes. Definitely get a couple for that. He plays that nicely, gets two. Into the over. Five Into off it. Hit the pad. Well, he's given. Hmm. Well, we do have two challenges. Might be worse. Giving it a go. Having a look at the front foot. Hmm, this is plum. It's a shame Burns was playing quite nicely. In line. Impact in line. And the decision stands. That's out. There you go. Rory Burns has gone for 22. With one review after that. I think, or 24. And 34 deliveries. 67 for two. Here comes the captain, Joe Root. The new batsman takes guard. We simply got to hold on to these wickets now by the end of the episode. Waiting. It was a good delivery. I got Burns out. It was worth a review, I think, but... Played that along the ground. Turned out it was plumb in the end. The mark with that shot. So Joe Denley's innings has be all of a sudden become a lot more yes. important. That's four. Lovely shot nice off shot. the pads. 72 for two off 13 overs. Stark to come back on again. 
Well, here comes Mitchell Stark. Once again, coming to the captain, Joe Root. Yep. Bit of venom in that delivery. Oh, that's a cracker. And Joe Denley is starting to time the ball beautifully. Great start for him in this Ashes series. Into the 30s now. Of only 26 deliveries. Yes. Mm, that's another one. Paul Off the pads. Four runs. Wow. I heard that one. He's on the chat to Stark. Three boundaries in a row. Yes. That's through the gap. I don't think it's quite going to reach the boundary. Get three, though. Good work in the field there. Great over so far for us. On Stark's return. Blocks out the last ball. 88 for 2 or 14 as we go into our last over of the episode. that one yes, yes. along the ground well that could be out it's a direct hit oh he's just given it he's given it Root's gone for two I mean, I can't believe they got the direct hit from there. I thought a second run was a certainty. But Root gone for two, and now all of a sudden we are in huge trouble. 89 for three on this first day. Didn't want to be seeing Johnny Bairstow in this episode. Is that going to run far enough? This time we do get three. Can't believe it was just a sheer look that it was a direct hit. Quick run to get Bairstow off the mark. That'll settle his nerves. Good shot first up. in the air we're not going to come back for two so you'll have to wait till next episode to see a Joe Denley 50 unless this is a no ball tell you what we'll do one more over and see if we can get the first 50 of this series as drinks come out 15 overs in Chris Walks for bringing them for Johnny Bairstow and uh, Joe Denley. This has been a really, really positive 50 from... Joe Denley, or 49 I should say, he might not get his 50. <laughs> Oh, 
not able to connect. It's venomous. And there it is. That's going to be 50 for Joe Denley. With those couple of runs there. Might get a third as well. Good running. First 50 of the series. Well played. Final ball of the episode then. And just to leave. So 97 for 3 is where we're going to leave it at the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then make sure you leave a like. It particularly helps me out on part 1s. And it really does mean a lot as well. If you if you do enjoy it, please do hit that like button. Leave your comments down below. Who do you think will win the 2019 Ashes series, both in game and in real life? Uh, subscribe to the channel for regular Cricket 19 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.